Well, some jurors in an assault case were, to say the least, shocked when the judge came out and told them that their verdict was wrong. Four of them complained. And new at 5.30, ABC6 reporter Carol Looper is live at the courthouse to take us through this. Carol? Bob, the judge in this case is Judge Amy Salerno. She's been here on the bench in municipal court since 2005. Now, I've known the judge since she was a state legislator, and she has always spoken out for what she believes. Four of the jurors complained to the administrative judge, who is the supervisor of the judges. After returning the verdict, they were approached by the judge in open court, and they were chastised for having reached a verdict that they reached, and they were told that they got it wrong. And there was another comment that concerned them. They reported to me that she made a comment to them that it was okay because she would have another chance to get this defendant because he had other charges pending. Judge Green tells me he may take the juror's complaints to the disciplinary council of the Supreme Court and take other action. It is my intention, if I do nothing else, to ask the judge to recuse herself in terms of considering any other matters involving this defendant. We've had our cameras in Judge Salerno's courtroom when she's had strong words for defendants before there was a trial or a conviction, including an OSU player who was picked up in a prostitution sting. I'm very disappointed to see you here today in my courtroom. Considering, sir, the fact that you are an ambassador of Ohio State University, your visibility in the community, you need to always keep that in mind, sir. And a mother who was arrested for child abuse. If these allegations are true, I find it horrible that you already have two and you have one on the way. Now, Judge Salerno was not available to talk to me today in person, but she did send me a, sta a statement, and I'll tell you in part, it says, I was surprised by the jury's verdict in this case and failed to contain my surprise. I am deeply sorry if my words in any way have offended. I can appreciate how they may have been taken in some other way. Live in downtown Columbus, outside the municipal courthouse, I'm Carol Looper, ABC 6 News.